as he hung there all alone on a cross not his own he suffered guilt and shame Jesus bore our pain like a thief on the cross he paid a debt undue hanging from that tree he's standing Senator, figured I'd find you down here working your cows. I'll bet you're the only retired senator in Texas who still likes to drive his own wagon. That's just like my pappy always told me. Don't ever be afraid to get your hands dirty. Well, I'd say you made your pappy proud. Congratulations on your good fortune, Senator. How's that? Why, your acquisition of the Finley property. Well, thank you, Buck. Yeah, it must have added another thousand acres to your place. And some of it prime railroad right away. Indeed, it was my good point. Kind of strange, ain't it, Senator? Two of those three Finley brothers dying within a month of each other. And then the third suddenly deciding to sell out. Nothing strange at all, Buck. Accidents happen all the time. Still. You know what's strange to me, Buck? The fact that you still feel the need question and analyze every little occurrence. When the law is not any of your concern anymore. <laughs> not since not since you were turned out from office for neglecting your duty. My first duty is to my wife. I wasn't about to leave her. But you knew that.
All irrelevant now, isn't it, Buck? The fact is, you need to leave the law to the law maker. By the way, Buck, how is your wife? Talk about misplaced concerns. Buck North, I don't mind telling you, I never cared much for your habits. You never seem to have the proper respect for your superiors. Oh, but Senator, I always have for my equals. Careful how you talk to the Senator. Huh? You're not welcome here, Noah. Shannon's a family member. You'll get no help from anyone here, no matter how you beg. Senator, I wouldn't beg your pardon. Shannon's threatened my life, so you know I've got every right to shoot him on sight, just like I would a striking snake. When you see him, you tell him not to bother hunting me. I'm coming for him. I want you to tell him you saw me. And you tell him I'm going to the bottom. Go for bottom. <laughs> You're a fool to go there, North. That's his home ground. You put a lot of confidence in that nickel plated gun you carry. Go then. And be down. Shadow's been waiting for almost a year. He'll take care of that man. <laughs> Listen to his voice as he calls you from high. Hear me, my child, for you I have died. Will you follow me? Thank you.